All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachak Vodash, that belong to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you. Hopefully, elect out there that are fighting for your salvation in these last days. Shalom unto you. Brush Squad back with a, a really quick video, really, really quick. Um, second Edges chapter 9, and I'll start at um, verse 1. It says, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou well under excuse me, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. How's he gonna visit the world? Uh I'm Nawala, or as they said in the Old Testament, Emmanuel, which means the most high with us. Okay, by sending his son back, Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Okay, even so. The times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonderful, excuse me, and wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. So, uh, this generation seeketh the sign, and this is the sign. Okay, matter of fact, let me go real quick to Matthew uh, 24, it's like the late 30s. Right before that, like 29 maybe. Yep. It says, uh, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. All right, and that goes direct with this article right here. A rare black moon will appear in the sky this weekend. This out otherworldly phenomenon will happen on Saturday, April 3rd, it's funny, it's, it's the, the new moon, in conjunction with the first solar eclipse of 2022. So it's a, it's a new moon and a solar eclipse. Okay? And this is, I'll read this and then I'll close. It says, if you are a fanatic for intriguing outer space happenings, then you likely already know that the first solar eclipse of 2022 will take place on Saturday, April the 30th tonight right you'll be able to see this phenomenon from part parts of antarctica south america and the pacific and atlantic oceans but there is another amazing sight to see on the very same night a rare black moon this event will create 2022's first partial solar eclipse let's see if we can read some more of the story yeah according to the smithsonian magazine because they're so credible it says, uh, where'd it go? Yep, it says, uh, the black moon appears when a second new moon falls on the same calendar month. These new moons occur when the side of the moon that faces the earth is fully covered by a shadow. <laughs> it looks nearly invisible as a result. Intrigued? We don't blame you. And you won't want to miss it since this is the only black moon that will pop up in 2022. These are just effects and signs of the highest. They told us there wouldn't be another comet. They told us eclipses were thousands of years apart from each other. But here at the end, we're starting to see these things more frequently and more frequently. Okay? Showing you people that we are in the last days according to the scriptures. According to prophecy. Alright, so I just want to bring this out. You know, you can... Uh, read more into it okay so solid i don't I, I just don't have the time right now but lord willing uh you're edified giving all praises and glory to the yahweh by shimmy al shai by shimmy al chakwadash that belongs to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone greetings salutations blessings much love unto you out there fighting shalom fighting for salvation <laughs> shalom